are you waiting to get pregnant? <laughs> I was like, really? Really? Like 90% of the time you are not your brain is not on something, it is on TCC. That's how it works. So it's already intrusive, like mind intrusive. And imagine the intrusion coming also from outside. It's too much. It's too much. <laughs> If you are not uh, a bystander and stay as a bystander and you want to be sitting on that fertility table with a couple, it's not your place because you are not helping the process. Did you abort? It's a lonely thing. It, it makes you lonely. TTC makes you lonely. Hello, Kiros. Welcome to my channel. So today we are going to be talking about um, fertility shaming or pregnancy shaming or baby shaming or for me I feel it starts when you look at a couple and you know they are married and you suppose and you assume they should have a baby or they should be procreating and then you feel entitled to give your opinion about their fertility to ask, even to ask, do you want to have baby or babies? Or if yes, when? And go further, like already there is too much, is you are really stepping into their privacy. And on the other side, you might know that they are on the fertility journey and you know best and you judge and you tell, like without anybody, they didn't even ask. And you give your opinions <laughs> either what it or not on their life on their journey and what they should do best just to say this to throw it before i even get deeper into the topic people on a ttc journey like and trying to consider journey on a fertility journey <laughs> google is their best friend like i feel at some point they can be doctors like if they allow them to go and pass some exams to go and do the exams the doctors do maybe <laughs> they will get one a, a plus or a grade or whatever like 20 points after 20 uh, possible just to say how hungry of knowledge and information and tips and everything they are that is the first thing the next thing is when you don't know further we are not at that point we are not ashamed to ask <laughs> to really go and say honey you've been there or how did you do it which position did you do what were you eating don't go for them like make sure if it is worrying you like if it is a thing an issue for you like bystander okay imagine how perplexed how busy how intentional they might also be in, in that sense like in that topic and what I've realized like so far, I've talked with other people, in the beginning we will pretend we are not ready yet, like if you are still figuring out and people are already asking like, when is the bouncing baby coming? You just say no, we are not ready yet. For the first, I think one year, rest and peace people will give you like, okay. But after they like come for you and come into you, into your businesses and mostly women like i'm talking from my experience they know best even those who went through fertility issues like ttc like it wasn't like this like they had to be patient even if it is one month or 10 months or 10 years it wasn't that easy they sometimes forget that it is a journey and that everybody is different and every couple is different and each and every journey is different like maybe it comes out of a place of love certainly some I, I suppose it always comes from a place of love and concern and care but they sometimes forget how it gets to the other person and what is going to damage or how in like how anxious is going to make you like it's no more my business my body is no more my business some is somebody's business and there's no control you can have on it like i trust me people on the tuesday today they are the first to want to have that baby even before you as 
a friend, uncle, sister, cousin, whatever role you have in that person's life. So often people forget that, okay, they were in that journey and what they did and had the result. I might do it like copy paste and it does not work for me. Maybe the first thing you did and didn't work for you and I, I do it, it works for me. So sometimes there is a checklist. Have you done this? Have you done this? Have you done this? Have you done this? Like they just copy paste their, their, their checklist on and their journey on, your, on yourself and ask you to have the same result as them. And they'll be looking. It is so intrusive, people. This question, this unasked advice, this is really is a personal thing. I don't know if there's something more personal than that one. Trust me, your role is not to, to say, oh, look at her, she's not getting pregnant, look at them, they are not having a child. They should be having a, ch a child, like my neighbor, like the first time I went into a real conversation we met at a party. You should, people should be with you. <laughs> Jesus Christ, it was last summer and I was like, when are you people having babies? <laughs> no contact, even sometimes, in Germany, you don't even say good morning, good evening, like, but we, we happened that day that we were sitting next to each other, like, are you, are you what are you waiting to get pregnant? <laughs> I was like, really, really? And I said, okay, we are not getting ready, we are still doing um, some, 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 some fixer upper, and <sighs> you have to save yourself with some euros, like, if you say, no, we are trying and it's not working, the next box is open <laughs> so there's a you you, you can, it's a losing game for a ttc it's a losing game to even start that conversation like how am i going to get out of that conversation without losing my face or without you opening a box for me so if you are a sister wait till your brother your sister comes to you and even when she comes and she's talking Maybe she just want you to listen, just to listen. Like, listen and stay quiet until she, like, asked. So, if you are a bystander, please be a bystander. Like, stand by me, stand by me and help me fight my fight. Like, TTC is a heavy load, it's a, maybe a burden, it's a journey, a battle in the head, like once you've set your mind on that goal and you are not getting it and you already, sometimes you already know the boxes people are going to put you in, you talk not really that great to yourself, it takes a lot of uh, mental strength. To not put yourself down on your own and then imagine your people where people who are supposed to give you that mental support or the support system mental support system that that support system is failing and judging and adding pressure on top of it like your couple isn't in couple unless you have a child in this frame of time <laughs> I'm laughing because I'm over it, but um, at the end, I just had to cut people out, like if you were asking too much. So um, just be a bystander and don't even address it. Like it is when you have that person who doesn't know you are TTT and uh, you have the possibility to be talking normally with that person. Like, I don't mean you have a coffee for 30 minutes with your friend and that one sentence still comes like how far be sure if they are pregnant they will tell you at the right time like at this point i am so 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 happy i can't shut my mouth like that is why i'm making this video like so you just need to be next to that person and distract that person from the journey like if i'm getting out and i'm talking with you or when i'm calling you <laughs> your brain functions like 90 percent of the time you are not your brain is not on something it is on tcc that's how it works like <laughs> i don't know if if i've made it clear 
But TTC is a program in your brain and it is running. It's like a window program. <laughs> it is always there. Unless you are doing a tax stand. I don't know how I can explain it. But imagine a music it, which is always playing. It is on play, play, play. Unless you have to stop, get your mind in something like you have to, then you are not really seeing. So it's already intrusive, like mind intrusive. And imagine coming, the intrusion coming also from outside. It's too much. It's too much. <laughs> like Choma Zozi would say, it's too much. It's too much, people. Like, just be a bystander. And, um, I remember telling my friend, he would to sit for 10 or 11 years. God's time is the best. I easy, easier said than done. Like, I had to say it to myself. But of course, at that point, she was pregnant when I was looking for it. And I had to be that friend holding her hands in her pregnancy. So I didn't even tell her I was CTC on till she gave birth and she then told me what I used to tell her <laughs> you say calm and reason to everything you remember that here yeah, I called you I was in, in tears and you you were the only person okay so I realized not judging help as I said before if you are not uh, a bystander and stay as a bystander you want to be sitting on that fertility table with a couple it's not your place. At a certain point, they will have to cut you out of the relationship for self-care purpose because you are not helping the process by fertility shaming them, addressing it and comparing and telling how others are successful. They just did that. They just did that. What I really got very often from very good friends, like they know me in and out. We were young together. Like, did you abort? Like the first people, people, we assume, I don't know if it's only something about black women, we assume that a woman who is having difficulty, difficulties um, taking in, she had done something with her womb, if not multi, at least one abortion, multiple abortion, multi, multiple abortion, or she had a, a what is it called, MST, um, sexually transmitted diseases. None of them. I had not, none of them. But still, like, the, the, the boxes they put you in there, you just find yourself, you're like, Jesus Christ, really? Like, I thought you even know, you, 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 you know where my placenta is buried, like, if you are asking me this question and I went to everywhere with you, that was, that was, it's a lonely thing, it, it makes you lonely, TTC makes you lonely in the sense when people do not understand your your struggle, even those who were there, like I wish, I hope, I am going to be, I'm not going to be that friend, sister, no. anyways, I'm not going to be that person making somebody else's fertility journey heavier. We should all be perfect fertility bystander amen amen and i'm out bye